Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Chris and this is going to be episode one of my Minecraft survival series. Um, first episode is obviously just going to be getting started out, get a little base get together. So let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is create the world. Um, we're going to name it survival. Makes sense, right? Uh, we will put up to hard. I am playing on the PlayStation 4 Bedrock Edition, so unfortunately I don't have access to hardcore, which is a shame. It would be nice to try and give that a go, but I am limited by my hardware. Won't put bonus chests on, uh, but I will put coordinates on, and I'm also going to turn off the multiplayer aspect, just because I don't want anyone on my friends list jumping in, trying to be funny, and trying to grief me. I ain't got time for that. So, let's get started. And here we are. Let's see what we've got. Pretty nice mountain range. A bit jagged. Um, some plains. Got any wood? Minimum wood. That's f oh no, loads of woods. That's perfect. Okay. So obviously we'll head over to there. We'll get some wood together. Get a crafting table done, and also get some tools. Okay, so just to sort of give you an introduction as well as to, to why I'm doing this. Um, basically, I'm sure like many others, what I tend to do is I'll create a Minecraft world, I'll play it for a week or two, and then I'll get bored of that world. And I'll restart a world, and I just end up with multiple saves on my system of just half-finished Minecraft worlds. So my thought is record yourself playing upload it um hopefully people enjoy what i watch or what i do people enjoy what they watch and what i do and it'll sort of incentivize me to make more Let's try and get about 20 cobble oh 15 15 is fine that'll do i'll be back for more anyway and then we're going to want to make swordstone. Sticks. Axe, pickaxe, shovel, and a hoe. Yo. And that'll be good. Let's tidy this up a little bit. Priorities. There we go. Okay, so let's get. First thing in order, we need food and a bed. So let's just start killing. Or trying to kill every bit of sheep that we can find. Obviously, we need three of the same colour. Okay, so unfortunately I couldn't actually find the same colour sheep. So what I did, I got some dye um, made, and if I'm right, I'm thinking we can use that and that, three white wool, and then we have our bed. Uh, on my travels, I did happen to see a nice little area where I would like to move to, so we're going to do that just over here. Just sort of a, a nice clearing with a uh, sort of mountain in the background and a little lake over here. Just think this could be a cool setting. So we're going to make base here, I think. We've got some bees as well up there. Um, plenty of place for things to spawn. So that's sugar cane over there. Over there, excellent, yeah, this is as good a place as any. So let's get our crafting table here, our bed here, and let's get into the mountain, get some more cobblestone together to get a furnace on the go. Uh, I did manage to get some 
of mutton. Oh, brilliant, now I'll just get gravel instead. What's going on? Right, there we go, cobble. Let's get the cobble together. I'll do, I think that's more than enough, probably more than I actually need. Okay, so there we go. The second most uh, important thing, other than a bed, is a bit of food. Um, I'll tell you what we will use for a bit of fuel. It's the pickaxe, because nobody likes a wooden pickaxe. Oh. Right, usually what I would try to prioritise is obviously building a shelter. Um, we're going to want to make sure we're safe, aren't we? But I think considering the fact that we're so close to a mountain, if we need to burrow in for the first night, then we can just do that. So what I want to focus on first is a, um, a reliable source of food, essentially, because although I have no concerns about the amount of mobs that will spawn here, it's always nice to have options. Well, I might just fancy some bread one day. It does seem to be getting dark, so what we're going to do, we're just going to sleep before... Mobs can spawn. Ah, any second now. There we go. And we're up. Let's have a look. Yeah, no mob spawn, so we're safe. Let's get to work on our farm. I think we'll put it over here. Makes the most sense. Don't have an awful lot, so I don't need to push back too much land. But to be honest with you I'll probably end up changing a lot of this layout I'll try and not touch the mountain because that looks like a lot of effort two three four five six and seven okay so that is our beginner farm while we're here let's get this sugarcane going because sugarcane is actually surprisingly important um, when it comes to making uh, multiple things, really, paper, uh, sugar for the potions, and obviously you need the paper for the books, for the enchanting table, so yeah, let's get a little sugar cane farm going. Oh, and also trading. Okay, I still haven't got the achievement for, well, I think it's one of the rarest achievements on PlayStation. And it's, I think it's the trade for a thousand emeralds. That doesn't include emeralds that you find in the hills or the uh, you know mining and things like that you have to trade a thousand emeralds and i think a good uh, paper farm would be a good idea so let's get an early start on that um before we make our house which i think is going to go here so what i'll do is i'll quickly make the frame um and then yeah I'll be back in a moment. Okay, there we go. So that's the base of the house, essentially. Um, I've made a little entrance porch over here, doorway, and all my things. Well, some of my things. I'll go get the rest in a moment. 
And what we want to do next is obviously put a roof on it. Not too, I wouldn't say it's my strong point exactly, but we're going to want to get a roof on it. And well, for this purpose exactly, because it's chucking it down. Lovely. I should go do my wheat in a moment as well. But let's empty ourselves. All the stuff we don't need yet, but we will end up using it later, I'm sure, just to grow a few more extra trees in the area. Um, just so we're not stuck with the same ones. And the question is what to build the roof out of, because I've only got three types of wood, and not one that I want. Let's make it out of cobble for now. Like I said, it's not permanent. It's not even going to be the house that we'll end up staying in. Well, it might be. It might end up staying here, but it's definitely going to make or be changed over the course of the series itself. Um, so I'm going to go and get some cobble together and we'll get the roof underway. Okay, and there we have it. There is our first survival base. Um, is it amazing? No. Am I happy with it? Not really. Is it going to be safe? Yeah. Will it do the job? Absolutely. Uh, I think what I might do in another episode is spend some time actually sprucing it up. Um, just make it look a bit nicer, essentially. Uh, maybe change some of the woods. Make... Uh, give it a bit more depth in the structure, I suppose, because it's still a bit flat in some places, but I'm happy with it. It does the job. Um, and also, while I was doing that, I did find some iron. I'm going to get that on the smelt in a moment, just so we can upgrade our tools a little bit and get ourselves onto, uh, well, into the Iron Age, I, I suppose. And while we've been doing that, we have been neglecting our crops. So let's go ahead have a little harvest Ooh, not today soon though I will come for you there we go okay so first day well not the first minecraft day essentially because I did sleep a bunch of times in between the, uh, the shots there while I was getting some cobble and some wood together um, but regardless these are the first goals of what you want to achieve in a minecraft survival Get yourself a shelter. It doesn't even have to be like this. It could just be a hole in the wall. It can be a 4x4 four four square block of dirt if you're that way inclined. Um, and some food. Not the most food, but we will be expanding on this next time. Uh, as well as going out and exploring the layer lands. Because if you didn't notice, I haven't opened my map. Uh, so the map is still unexplored. I have no idea where we are. Uh, so we will do a bit of exploring next time as well as expanding on food. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give us a like. Uh, more importantly, chuck us a cheeky subscribe uh, and hopefully see you next time. Thanks. Bye.